हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर शशि परमार एज यू कैन सी द टॉपिक एक्वाकल्चर सो आई कैन टॉक ऑन द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्वाकल्चर एंड आल्सो डिस्कस इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस सो लेट्स डाइव इनटू द मेन कंटेंट एक्वाकल्चर और एक्वा फार्मिंग इट इज़ द कल्चर और फार्मिंग ऑफ एक्वेटिक एनिमल ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन वाटर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट एक्वेटिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स द फर्स्ट वर्ड that comes into our mind is fish of course farming of fish is included in aquaculture now the question may arise why there is need to farm the fish as we all know fish is easily available form of animal protein and dietary protein deficiency can easily be alleviated by consuming fish i want to cite an example if we consume 100 grams of fish that will be equal to consuming 3 eggs or 155 grams of fat that is equal to 165 grams of wheat or 285 grams of rice or uh, we can say uh, 500 grams of milk thus the superiority of fish compared to other protein rich foods like uh, wheat rice milk available for human consumption can easily be understood besides fish flesh is easily digestible and also containing all the 10 essential amino acids like lysine methionine etc vitamins such as vitamin a b cyclocobalamin vitamin c vitamin d and minerals like uh, calcium phosphorus iron sodium potassium magnesium and sulfur fish oil marinol contains archidionic acids which cure cyst fibrosis in children and heart diseases in adults further this is also helpful in the formation of hormones known as prostaglandins in humans the unique polyunsaturated acid icosapentaoic acid is present only in fish and it is known to prevent the coronary diseases in human by lowering the cholesterol level Global fish production is estimated to have reached about 175 179 million tons in 2018 and you will be surprised to know that developing countries are developing countries like uh, Bangladesh India are more responsible for about uh, half of this production the nutritional advisory committee on human nutrition has recommended that the annual per capita fish consumption in india should be 31 kg but in reality it is only 4 kg these data shows that our protein demand is so high that it is very necessary to increase the fish production by aquaculture simpler terms aquaculture is the farming of commercially important aquatic organisms under controlled conditions it generally used to denote what type of organism is culture that is either it either there is culture of fish culture of shrimp oyster mussels or seaweed what type of environment in which the culture is done that is either it is fresh water aquaculture brackish water aquaculture or salt water or mariculture a specific character of environment used for the culture that is either it is cold water or warm water aquaculture upland lowland inland coastal or estuarine aquaculture what type of culture system pond culture raft culture or cage culture is there taking all these points into considerations aquaculture can be defined as the production and husbandry of aquatic plants and animals in controlled environment when we use any scientific principles in farming it is called as husbandry aquatic here refers to the fresh water brackish water or salt water systems controlled refers whether there is low level of control or high level of control when we apply limited capital and management in culture 
it is called as low level of control or extensive aquaculture when we apply comprehensive or we can say vast capital and management it is said to be high level of control or intensive culture the importance of aquaculture can be understood in three points number 1 it is dependable year round source of animal protein just like agriculture or animal husbandry number 2 it is certainly a profitable venture than maintaining livestock because the food conversion ratio in fish is 1 is to 2 while in case of cattle it is 1 is to 3 and 1 uh, is to 4 in pig or chick lastly aquaculture yield is quite high compared to that of aqua- agriculture or livestock so that is all about this lecture if you have any query put the question in comment box thank you so much